Hey crafters, we're going to be working with etching. I This was the only etching cream that I could find that was independent of any type of kit or anything like that at the store. And I actually got this one at Michael's and was able to use a coupon. So let me show you a little bit of glass etching. Okay. Yay. Now I'm using a image. We're finishing off October with a bang. I'm using an image from the cartridge that we featured that I did a video on the Anna Griffith Winter Wonderland cartridge. And so we made a layout, we made some cards, we made some 3D elements, now we're gonna etch some glass. And I'm using this image that's found on page 73 of the booklet. It's key number 37. It's this little Christmas bell going on. So what you do, or what I've done, and we'll see if it works, to do the etching is you go ahead and take a piece of vinyl get your image and put it directly in the middle of a little box because you want a little bit of edge so that when you're putting the etching cream on and you'll see in a minute that it doesn't uh, get on the glass where you don't want it to and so the shape that's in there that's what I want and so here's the shape that came out here right here so I'm gonna go ahead and get a piece of transfer paper because everything that's on here I want it picked up and transferred so I can put it on my glass. Now I've got my glass cup right here that I'm going to use and you should clean the surface, the outside surface that you're going to be using, clean it with some, clean it with some rubbing alcohol. So let's go get the transfer paper, transfer this up and then place it back down on our glass. Okay guys, now it was some hard work but we have our image on our transfer paper so now we have to transfer it to our now glass. Now we can take our glass hopefully it doesn't roll away should be dry on the outside and you're going to be able to lay this right down right around your glass. Now you're going to start working from the center out to make sure that that vinyl gets stuck down to that glass. Okay, I've kind of smoothed it down and I still got my stick here. Let's see if we can peel it back. And this is just like anything. If it's sticking to the transfer tape, we'll just put it down and rework it again. Woo, okay, that came out really nice. You want to make sure all your bubbles are out because you don't want the etching cream getting under where it's not supposed to be. So fix your bubbles. You might want to do this on some other type of plastic um, or something else so that you're not getting etching cream all over your work surface. This Martha Stewart one comes with a brush and it is advised that you use gloves. I don't happen to reaching have in the bottle and then all you're going to do is you're gonna take this and you're going to tap it over your surface and you want a nice thick coating you don't want no mamby pamby light coating because then you're gonna get and you want the coating to be as even as possible so you see how I'm just like dabbing I'm dabbing, I'm dabbing, I'm dabbing. And then there's not a lot left on here. So I'm going to go and I'm going to reach back in my bottle. I'm actually going to take some of this up off of this too. And we're going to go back. And I'm dabbing. Okay. Now you're going to have to wait 15 minutes for it to set in and etch, and then we'll rinse it off. The etching cream has sat on our, uh, sat on our glass for 15 minutes or so. And now we're gonna rinse it off. Brush. You're gonna take some soap. And I'm just going to take a paper towel.
Okay, and I know you can't, you're like, so what'd you do? Okay, guys, here's our finished glass. Doesn't that look gorgeous? We used our Anna Griffith Winter Wonderland cartridge. Um, we used some vinyl, some Cricut vinyl, and some transfer tape. And voila, with along with the etching cream, we were able to etch this glass. So just think about this. If you wanted to use this image, or maybe the presence image from the Anna Griffith cartridge, or the word saying Merry Christmas, and you wanted to put that either on a vase, or on a picture frame on the bottom and frost that and then be able to have the picture in it because you're going to be able to see right through it. It's not like you won't be able to see, but you'll also get the frosted image. So there's like tons of different things that you can use with home decor with this particular cartridge and with that etching cream. I can't wait to really get into how I'm going to do it and I can't wait to see what projects you guys come up with too. Thanks for watching.